Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News from Mountain Comfort Furnishings and Design. We took first chair Friday to Arapahoe Basin today, and we had one question. What's your gut reaction to that pending purchase by Altera, the owner of the Icon Pass? That's big. We do nice. love it. That's great to hear. More eBay days? Can't complain about that. I don't know. I don't have much to say. I just hope they keep the vibe the same it is. Better them than Vale, I guess. Because at least Altera respects some independent mountains more. Uh, it's just unfortunate just because we love the culture here. The terrain can't change, but hopefully the culture, the people don't change. It doesn't get overcrowded. Wasn't thrilled about it. Nervous about anything changing and growing here because of how much I love what it is. So I am a Hay Basin season pass holder so when I saw it I was like well we'll just fingers crossed be buying that pass again next year but I don't know I might be buying a loved one pass next year <laughs> <laughs> local backcountry avalanche danger is considerable at most elevations likely into the weekend Here's the CAIC. You're most likely to trigger an avalanche on north through east to southeast slopes. Winds have drifted stiff slabs of snow over weak layers buried last weekend. If you see a smooth pillow of snow or feel a dense slab, then opt for lower angled slopes. Danger's been even higher to our west and south after feet of snow from a midweek storm. Yesterday, a snowmobiler was fully buried by a slide northeast of Cedar Ridge on the Grand Mesa. The woman was unconscious when companions found her. They quickly revived her and built a fire to warm her up. One of her companions had wilderness EMT training. This weekend's Colorado Youth Hockey Tournament will not be happening on Lake Dillon as planned. The ice was brutalized by warm weather last week. Two heavy machines fell through. The tourney is happening instead at the Breck Ice Arena. Be ready for heavy traffic at the arena tomorrow and Sunday. A state bill inspired by the opioid epidemic has cleared a Senate committee. Says a bill sponsor, we have lost far too many Coloradans to accidental overdoses and substance use disorders. Something has to change. This bill comes with grant funding for local overdose and addiction prevention. Town of Vail is honoring Dr. Jack Eck. Dr. Eck was the first medical doctor with Vail Ski Patrol in the 70s. He kept that gig for more than three decades. He's best known for his creative field work, like the mobile AED he built inside an old Samsonite suitcase. In sports, the Nuggets play the Kings tonight at 8. World Cup women are racing in Andorra this weekend. Michaela Schifrin will not be in the start gate. Things are moving really fast, but not quite fast enough to make it for Andorra, but, but it's really positive yeah, it's still. Fun. That audio from Schifrin's ex account. She is rehabbing a sprained MCL. Schifrin addressed high-level injuries on the circuit. She blames fatigue from the World Cup race and media schedule. Schifrin's boyfriend, Norway's Alexander Kilde, is still confined to a wheelchair with nerve damage after a downhill crash in Switzerland. Most recently, Italy's Sofia Goccia broke her leg in a training accident. And in local sports, it's a busy, busy weekend for high school sports. Today, the ski team was at Beaver Creek. Girls swimming and diving had day two of the state meet. Wrestling was at regionals. Tonight, Tigers hockey is up in Steamboat. Boys and girls basketball are in Moffat County. Tomorrow, basketball is in Steamboat. Hockey is playing Battle Mountain in Vail. Swimming has day three of the state meet. And Breckenridge Vipers hockey is back at home starting tonight. They're playing the Barracuda of Mansfield, Texas. Puck drop tonight and tomorrow, 730. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.